good morning hello welcome to the video so today's video is going to be a 35 slash 36 week pregnancy update baby in number two um so today is but actually i have no idea what the date is but it's um i am 35 and like five days pregnant so the last update i did was when i was 30 weeks uh so in that video i think if i remember i think i was saying that i'd been feeling pretty good and i think i jinxed myself because it was around i remember right after i posted that video saying that i was feeling really good that i actually started feeling quite uncomfortable so um yeah up until then it was pretty smooth sailing not that it's not okay now but um i've had a, a few little issues which have been annoying to deal with so um yeah i'm not gonna like sugarcoat this or anything just just sharing experiences um i'm feeling a bit flat today actually so if that's coming across in the video i don't know why i don't know if it's like and maybe anticipation or a bit of cabin fever or what but i've just woken up feeling a bit blah anyway i think the days are melting into one another at the moment i'm feeling a little bit of a lack of personal space and challenges of a two-year-old and their fluctuating moods and all of that jazz but anyway that aside let me just tell you about what's been going on so um i have pretty bad carpal tunnel in both of my arms which is mainly in the hands but can sort of be the whole arm um i got this in pregnancy with jed as well but it was mainly in the right hand this time i have it in both arms so like even as i'm holding the camera now it's quite hurting my hand but it's bearable um so what what that is is i i both pregnancies i've just puffed up and held a lot of water um and what that does is puts um like the excess fluid puts pressure on the nerves i think don't quote me on this in your arms and it like restricts flow of something maybe it's blood vessels not nerves anyway you can google it if you want to but that's why the hands hurt so they like tingle and just hurt and go numb um and one of the things i'm finding pretty frustrating with that is um because of the fact that lindsay's been working from home i have actually had the chance to be able to do some more work for myself um because of the time he's not commuting but because my hands hurt when i'm typing like they're getting worse it's kind of painful for me to do any of that work so that's disappointing and difficult i don't like being a layabout and i like doing stuff so it's difficult not being able to do that well i am i'm sort of pushing through and i've got these wrist guards that i wear i call them my terminator hands that that they do help and but they're uncomfortable to sleep in so sleep's been difficult um that's pretty standard with this stage of pregnancy because you um like i'm like you're not supposed to sleep on your back which is fine because i don't anyway i usually sleep with one leg up and on my tummy but obviously can't sleep on my stomach and then when you do want to roll over it takes so long to roll over <laughs> then one arm goes dead with the carpal tunnel and i roll over and the other one goes dead so sleep has been a challenge and so 
like some nights I just barely get any sleep and then other nights it's okay but the nights where I don't get much is is difficult um, so that's challenging I feel like I've said that a thousand times but anyway the other issue I've been having is back upper back pain this is not strictly related to pregnancy I've got a little neck issue that pops up and it's flared up again my battery's gonna die so I'm gonna go grab a new one okay so while I was up I just grabbed the wrist guard to show you it just looks like this this one's covered in fluff don't mind um, if you have the same issue they do help I've been having a little bit of acupuncture and massage to try and help with the neck and the arms I am not sure yet of the total effectiveness of either um, because it sort of seems to get better for like a day and then go back to what it was so I'm sort of not sure I've never had acupuncture before so um, but Lindsay's been having to give me like two massages a day on my neck and then at night he's been massaging my hands which has definitely been helping to like relax me so that's good if you can see my neck looks really red it's because right before filming this I actually had this wheat bag really hot like sculpting around the back of my neck which help which actually really helps but that's why my neck's all red so um those are the main discomforts um so i feel like i don't know if i've forgotten or what but i feel like my swollenness of legs and feet is less this pregnancy than it was last time um i do notice that when i do computer work that my feet get really puffy so it could be the case that like last pregnancy because i didn't have jet i was able to be sitting at the computer at the desk doing more work so therefore i was getting more of that swelling whereas with jed i'm obviously moving around more so that's nice i mean it's i'm still swollen but not to the degree i think so that's good um apart from like the carpal tunnel and the neck thing and stuff um it's not too bad really uh the other issue i've been having is particularly in the morning i've been feeling quite lightheaded and kind of dizzy and i did ask the doctor about this a couple of days ago and I don't think they don't think it's related to the gestational diabetes because my reading blood readings are okay and my blood pressure is normal it could be a low iron thing so anyway I'm going to get my bloods um, retested for that but that's been making me feel quite yucky in um, especially in the morning even after breakfast like a lack of energy and it's been getting me down a little bit, I think, because I feel guilty that I am just wanting to sort of sit and rest or lay down and not have the energy to like do activities with Jed that I usually would, especially while we've been more restricted with staying at home and he is probably a bit bored, but... I feel a little bit better today I it could be dehydration so anyway that's an update on the physical side um, apart from that everything's going pretty normally um, the doctor's appointments at the hospitals have been spaced out to one physical visit and then one on the phone because of COVID which honestly has been nice because I uh, haven't had to go to the hospital on the other hand sometimes you like I wouldn't have minded having my blood pressure checked because of the way I was feeling so it's a little bit like mm. 
but it's coming up quickly now um won't be long so organizational thing we've um we've got all we've bought all our stuff we're just waiting for one or two extra little deliveries um got the new pram delivered they delivered the wrong one so we're waiting for that to be swapped over i've mostly packed a hospital bag but i'm still not quite sure what i'm going to be actually wearing you know from a practical point of view um i've put the baby's clothes all out in our room i might show you a clip of that before i finish this shuffled around our wardrobe a bit to fit i'm sitting in the feeding chair right now in our room this weekend or oh, we've put out like some more block out blinds in our room this weekend we're going to put up the set up the um bassinet in our room and just pull out like the baby rocker and the swing and stuff and just put them out in the living area just so jed can get used to their presence and he will probably want to sit in them and stuff so i'll let him get that out of his system you know let the novelty wear off a bit rather than having to deal with that when new baby arrives although like i probably will have to deal with it then anyway um yeah so all in all it's 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 going okay overall but i'm feeling ready um to well i'm not feeling ready but i'm ready for it to happen i think i've been reading this book ina may's guide to childbirth and it is geared more towards well natural childbirth um i think i'm going to make another video about um my birth story with jed and i might talk a little bit more about this but if anyone if any of you are pregnant whether for the first or second time i highly recommend this book whether or not you're intending on having a natural birth or not it's it's um it's not biased it's very com it's very comprehensive and it's very encouraging and it's not um, too woo-woo. Like I've got this other book which is called, yeah, I won't tell you what it's called. Well, I will actually. It's called Ten Moons and it's sort of about a guide to natural childbirth but its stance is more like um, sort of saying that birth is um, like, what's the word? Basically enjoyable this book doesn't lie to you <laughs> like this book they say it's painful but they're telling you ways to get through it um i'm really open to an epidural this time i had a drug-free labor last time and posterior so sort of possibly double whammy there but um yeah i i would love to be able to do it naturally again but i'm definitely not going to stop myself from having an epidural if i really want to at the time but this book is giving me techniques and information about what's actually going on inside that i didn't have before like we did a preparation class but it was like in hindsight it glossed over a lot of this stuff and I was kind of clueless to a degree about the different stages and what was going on and you know transition that that part where you're like I can't do this anymore but that's a good thing because that means your baby's nearly coming like I didn't know any of this stuff so really enjoying this book um, and that's pretty much it for the for the update. I suppose I should show you a bump shot, although I haven't made the bed. I don't really want to look in the mirror, but anyway, let me just jump up and show you something. Oh, you can see here possibly. Um, no, it's not the best shot. Um, bump. 
bump unmade bed this is uh the top drawers that have turned into baby's drawers just got a couple of extra things in there so we've got all his clothes laid out his little cuddly thing we've got two of those and um, so that's all newborn and then this is uh zero to three months and we've got a mini change station in here and he'll also we'll also use the one in uh jed's room because we've still got the change table set up there um, so that's probably it for the pregnancy update. Um, I know that this was a bit like mellow. Uh, apologies, it's not all, ah, but this is third trimester. It can be a bit hard, so that is it. But overall going okay. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.